Hey guys, Captain Zach here. I just wanted to give you a quick video on the uh, anchor float system we use. A lot of guys end up having to drag an anchor out of like 50, 100, almost 200 feet just manually, you know, arm over arm. And that is a, uh, a crazy amount of exercise and really unnecessary. These, uh, these anchor floats, these anchor balls, will actually do the work for you. They'll pick up the anchor right off the bottom and bring it to the, the very top of the water, right to the surface. So, I just wanna show you how this is rigged up before we uh, show it in action. Uh, of course, you've got your anchor. That's gonna be attached to about 10 feet of chain. But then, importantly, before you attach the uh, rope to the chain, you wanna make sure you, you bring the rope through this metal fitting in the correct direction. So one side will say to anchor, and one side will say to boat. So anchor goes down this way, and to boat will come back to your, uh, to your anchor box. The really cool part about this is, there's a little uh, metal piece that slides that when pulled back, it'll let it slide freely. So when we drop the anchor, we'll pull it back and it'll slide freely all the way down. And then we'll throw the ball out, and this will lock in place, and that's what'll hold the anchor. And then we'll actually take the boat when we wanna leave, and, and put it into gear and do like a, a little loop. So we'll show that in a little bit, but, but really what happens there is it'll pull. It'll pull the anchor all the way up off the bottom. And then when the anchor tries to go back down, locks it into place, just like that. So this ball will be floating on top of the water with the anchor just below. So there's no need to be hulking it hand over hand, hundreds of feet, getting sore biceps, sore triceps, none of that. We'll let that engine do the work and then you'll just have to sort of pick it up right off the top of the water. Okay, so as promised, we're ready to anchor up. You can see we're gonna throw the anchor. This is fed through the, uh, the rope is fed through in the correct direction. So as the rope goes down, I'm gonna hold this pin back and it's just gonna let the rope slide freely. Go for it. You can see the rope is sliding freely through, through the metal fitting as I'm holding that pin back. We're down in about 170 feet of water, so that's going to take a little while to get down. Okay, just hit the bottom. So we'll wanna give it a little more slack. How's the angle look? Uh, okay, we're actually on this side. We'll have it take a little bit more. Okay. Pretty vertical. It's always important to give it a little extra slack. You want that to be, you know, about a 45 degree angle or so. Okay. Hold it. Yep. Go ahead, hold it. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to uh, throw the ball. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, just chuck it out there. But what'll happen is this metal fitting will lock it into place. It'll just naturally slide right there. Um, and then the ball will float. And, uh, and then we'll take a, take a quick video of how we pick it up after we're done. Go for it. We like to give it just a little bit of slack so the ball isn't sitting right at the boat. Hey, one more tip for anchoring. Uh, if you're using a setup like we've got, we actually have a uh, kind of a line protector here. So you can get a lot of wear and tear on that anchor line rubbing against the bow. So by just, uh, by just tossing that on, on the rope, provide some extra protection, which will make your anchor line last longer. There he is, nice. Nice chicken halibut on a uh, seven ounce fire eye glow jig. Oh, it's good. Glow back. Glow back rockfish. 
<laughs> on the chicken slayer. There it is. <laughs> nice little chicken halibut. And as you can see, he ate that chicken slayer. <laughs> I think it's a dolphin. Oh no, it's a nice rockfish. Nice dusky. Here, we'll take you. Look at that. Nice. Ew. Dusky rockfish. Seven ounce fire agua jig. Oh, there he is. I wonder if no, there no, is. It hasn't touched my line. Ask the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. Little assist. Nice. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> nice fish. Wow. I'll just get it like this. Here, I got the rod. I got the rod. Nice. Is there Nice dusky rockfish on that one ounce fire eye glow jig. Well, as I was reeling it up at the end of the uh, session here, as the sun starts to set, one more rockfish to add to the pile. Not bad. Hey guys, while we're done fishing, fished for about 90 minutes, caught three halibut and four rockfish. Uh, we're ready to pick up that anchor ball now. So what we're gonna do is uh, got the engine on, we're gonna put it in gear and we're gonna run a semicircle back towards the anchor so that we're going to go kind of in the opposite direction of the anchor line and it's going to allow it to pick it right up off the uh, off the ocean floor and then as the boat moves it's actually going to pull the rope up through that through that metal fitting so take a look Okay, so we saw the anchor pop right up to the top. Now we're just gonna turn and face it and pull it back in. That anchor's floating right on the top. Okay, so the yellow ball's almost here. We got that anchor line all the way up, so now we're getting ready to lift. And there you have it, the yellow ball. And the chain and the anchor. No exercise involved whatsoever. That an the engine pulled it all the way up. It was just floating on the top for us to just pick up at the end. It's a great tool, it can really save a lot of energy throughout, the, uh, throughout a lot of fishing trips.